Let's check out how we can refine and upscale Flux generated AI images. Hello everyone, in the last videos we talked about the Flux image generation models. Right now we are trying to fine tune the images generated from the Flux models. We are using the SDXL for tile upscaling and will be fixing some skin artifacts in the images. Additionally, we will use an upscaler to upscale the final AI image. As we have tests with Flux Diffusion model for few days now, while the Flux Diffusion models are doing well for prompt instruction, but sometime, they often create artifacts on human character, making it look plastic, especially on the hair and skin. To refine this, we can use realistic checkpoint models in SDXL. We may use RealViz or Zavi Chroma XL to refine human character skins and sometimes elements like trees and leaves, which often have a plastic texture surface. Let's try out some prompts here. This is a text to image group for flux image generation. You can also switch the empty latent image to VAE encode to do image to image here. Our main purpose is refining images from the flux diffusion model. So we create an image here, for example, like this one. We will use a tile upscale, which I talked about in previous videos, using tile diffusion and the tile control net upscale to double the original image. Then, we will bring it back to the SDXLK sampler to run it one more time, refining the skin tone and hairstyles without plastic looking hair or artifact surfaces on each element of the image. Finally, we will upscale it as the last step. Let's try a text prompt here. First, we will try a light bulb with flowers inside, sitting on the ground. Some elements like flowers and leaves sometimes show artifact styles in the flux diffusion model. So let's see this one. We will run it once and see what we get. So here's the result. Right here, we have a light bulb with a flower inside. It doesn't look like a realistic image, of course, but as you can see, it's not upscaled yet. We will bring it to the SDXL refiner group. First, we will do a tile upscale, doubling the image size from what we had in the first generation. Then, we will use the refiner, increasing the denoise level slightly to 0.55 and perform latent upscaling with SDXL. These settings are very basic and can be adjusted based on how much denoise or upscale you want in the latent stage. Here, you can see the difference between the image after latent upscaling with more denoising compared to the original image. Lastly, we will upscale the image with models and save it. You might not notice too much difference with this kind of image, but sometimes it does look more natural for leaves and flower surfaces with fewer plastic or artifact styles when using the right SDXL checkpoint models. You can test whichever SDXL models you want to run with, but personally, I prefer RealViz or Zavi Chroma XL. These models, or the RealViz 4, are what I usually use. I test the upscale on the Flux generated image because it takes a lot of time to use one sampler in Flux to generate a high resolution image. Instead, we bring the image data to SDXL and fix it using this group for SDXL. So this is another quick video demonstrating how we can deal with Flux, even though we don't have ControlNet or any other extensions to work with Flux at the moment. We can work around this by bringing the image data to SDXL to enhance the image. In the next videos, we will create AI video scenes using Flux to create images, which will be another video we will cover. Here are a few more examples. They look much more natural after refinement with the SDXL image refiner and tile upscaling. That's it for this quick video. I will see you in the next videos. Have a nice day. See ya.